Hi everyone, today I'm back with a new video about my experience with the KIIP. So I will separate this video into two videos because I think it will be too long. So the first one will be for uh, my experience with the classes and the second one will be with the KIIP exam. So I did the KIIP which is the Korean Immigration and Integration Program. At the end of 2020, so it was basically in the middle of the COVID uh, pandemic. So before that, uh, the program stopped a little uh, for a while, quite for a while because uh, of the COVID and they couldn't do um, offline classes. But once I registered, they actually just started to do online classes. So they transferred it to only online classes. So because of that, spots were li quite limited and like uh, the program was a little intensive because when I did it, they just started, I think again, and actually I had to do six hours uh, of Korean on Saturday, but also six hours on Sunday. So every weekend, uh, I think for maybe almost 10 weeks, I did 12 hours of Korean. So at that time it was really tiring because it was really intense. I was also working full time so basically it was 40 hours during the weekdays but then I was also studying Korean <clears throat> during the weekends. So it was uh, really difficult to find time to rest uh, during those times. But even if it was really intense actually I thought it was a really great program uh, when I was doing it. So that kind of compensation that. So you have actually two ways to enter, enter this program. So the first one is uh, to take like a placement test and uh, once you get your result, they allow you to attend a certain level. And the second one, the one that I actually did was to give like one, um, like to give my topic test results and based on those results they just like told me you can go to this level so at that time i got the level three so i was able to uh, attend uh, the level four once i started this program then once you get your results uh, of the placement test or like they accepted your uh, topic test results you have to register for classes that will match your planning but you have to do it really fast uh, when i did it i'm pretty sure it's kind of the same now a lot of people want to do this program and uh, so you have to be uh, prepared to register uh, to get the place but also the time that you want. So you have to be prepared that once the registration started you have to right away do the res registration otherwise you won't be able to uh, get um, the spot that you wanted. So as I said previously for the level 4 I took classes during the weekends. And as, uh, like I just said, I was really tired because of this. So I decided for the level five to actually uh, take classes during the weekday. So at that time I took classes, I think on Tuesday and Thursday between uh, 6.30 p.m. and 10 p.m. Uh, which was quite okay because I just changed job and I was working less. So it was more manageable for me to do uh, like that. And the weekend I could fully rest or enjoy going out, meeting friends, whatever. For both level that I did with KIIP, I actually took classes with IWA, which means that uh, teachers from IWA gave classes and were participating to this program. I'm not sure now which university are doing it, but before COVID, uh, if I remember right, there were like a small community, but also universities just like Yonsei, IWA, and I think uh, SNU2 uh, participated to this program, but I'm not sure now. But maybe now um, almost all the uh, university are participating, I'm not sure, since it was like uh, almost two years ago. But yeah, at least I know that IWA was really great, so I would recommend it. So as I mentioned, if you want to do this program, you really have to register fast if you want to get uh, the spot you really want with the days but also the time and like kind of the numbers of hours because I think uh, if I remember some days were like longer uh, than other days like you had only two class two days instead of three days so it depends on what you want to do and uh, what is actually okay for uh, your planning 
But just like uh, Korean Language Institute, uh, if you attend it, you actually have to attend on 80% uh, of the classes. So for example, if there is 100 hours of Korean classes during this program, you will have to attend 80 hours of it. So it's quite good if you want to take some break and rest like I did sometimes. Uh, as I mentioned, is free. At that time, I'm not sure now, uh, once again, but uh, you still had to buy um, the KIIP program books. But uh, I think once I uh, did it, they actually just um, renew it. So it was quite new books at that time. And uh, compared to the previous one, I think it was really great. Uh, books well done and actually it looks like a lot the one you could see in Korean Language Institute uh, but like the level 5 is a little different since like um, this is more this is only cultural, historical but also political uh, information about Korea you will not learn any new grammar uh, you will learn a lot of new words and really difficult one uh, but actually I think even if it's difficult, uh, it's quite great to understand better uh, Korean culture and uh, yeah, I think that was a really great program and uh, if you want to get some points for uh, a visa, a potential visa, I will recommend this program, try to do it because it uh, was really well done. So uh, after the level 4, I took one exam uh, to be able to go to level 5. But just like I said, I will talk in detail about this exam uh, in the next video because this is already a long video right now. But uh, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you next week with a new video. Bye!